5. Aravalli Range The Aravalli Range is one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world and extends across the northwestern part of India. The Aravalli Range stretches approximately 800 km across the states of Rajasthan, Haryana, and Gujarat in northwestern India. It runs parallel to the western coast of India. The Aravalli Range is considered one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world, dating back to the Proterozoic era, making it more than 2.5 billion years old. It is primarily composed of ancient rocks, including gneiss, schist, and quartzite. While not extremely high compared to some other mountain ranges, the Aravalli peaks reach elevations of around 1,700 meters at their highest points. Guru Shikhar, located in the southern part of the Aravalli range in Rajasthan, is the highest peak, standing at approximately 1,722 meters above sea level. The Aravalli range is home to a variety of flora and fauna. It has dry deciduous forests, thorny vegetation, and supports a range of wildlife, including leopards, various species of deer, and numerous bird species. The Aravalli range has played a crucial role in the historical and cultural development of the region. It has been a source of various minerals, including copper and zinc, contributing to the establishment of ancient civilizations. Several historical forts and temples are located along the Aravalli range, reflecting its cultural importance. 4. Eastern Ghats The Eastern Ghats is a discontinuous range of mountains and hills running parallel to the eastern coast of India. The Eastern Ghats extend along the eastern coast of India, covering states such as Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and parts of Tamil Nadu. The Eastern Ghats are relatively older than the Western Ghats. They are characterized by a series of hills, plateaus, and valleys. The geology of the Eastern Ghats includes various rock formations such as granite, gneiss, and schist. The Eastern Ghats are known for their rich biodiversity. The region is home to diverse flora and fauna, including a variety of plant species, wildlife, and bird life. The hills and forests of the Eastern Ghats contribute to the conservation of several endangered species. Several rivers and their tributaries originate from the Eastern Ghats. These rivers play a crucial role in providing water for agriculture and sustaining local ecosystems. Some of the prominent rivers originating from the Eastern Ghats include the Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, and Penna. The Eastern Ghats have cultural and historical significance, with ancient temples and forts located in the region. Many of these structures are associated with local legends and traditions. The Eastern Ghats feature scenic landscapes, making them a destination for nature enthusiasts and tourists. Some hill stations in the Eastern Ghats, such as Araku Valley and Lambasingi in Andhra Pradesh, attract visitors seeking a peaceful retreat. The slopes and foothills of the Eastern Ghats are often used for agriculture. The region supports the cultivation of various crops, contributing to the economy of the surrounding areas. 3. Chota Nagpur Plateau The Chota Nagpur Plateau is a large plateau in eastern India, covering the states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, and Orissa. It is characterized by its elevated terrain and is rich in mineral resources. The Chota Nagpur Plateau is situated in the eastern part of India and spans across the states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, and Orissa. It is part of the larger peninsular plateau and is surrounded by the eastern Ghats on the southeast and the Gangetak Plains on the north. The plateau has an average elevation ranging from 700 to 1000 meters above sea level. It is characterized by undulating terrain, dissected plateaus, and numerous hills and valleys. One of the significant features of the Chota Nagpur Plateau is its abundance of mineral resources. It is known for deposits of coal, iron ore, manganese, bauxite, copper, and limestone. The presence of these minerals has led to the development of mining and industrial activities in the region. 
The Chota Nagpur Plateau supports a variety of vegetation, including deciduous forests and grasslands. The region is home to diverse wildlife, including various species of mammals, birds, and reptiles. The plateau is inhabited by various tribal communities, and their traditional lifestyles are often closely connected to the natural resources of the region. Some of the prominent tribal groups in the Chota Nagpur Plateau include the Munda, Orang, Ho, and Santhal. Several rivers originating from the Chota Nagpur Plateau flow through the region. These rivers, including the Damodar, Subarnarekha, and Brahmani, contribute to the water resources of the area. The Damodar River is particularly important and is known as the Sorrow of Bengal, due to its history of flooding. 2. Malwa Plateau The term, Malwa Plateau, is commonly used to refer to the plateau region in central India, covering parts of the states of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. It's a region with diverse topography and cultural significance. The Malwa Plateau is situated in central India and spans across portions of the states of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. It is part of the larger Deccan Plateau and is characterized by undulating terrain. The Malwa Plateau is known for its agricultural practices. The region's fertile soil supports the cultivation of crops such as wheat, soybeans, cotton, and oilseeds. Traditional farming techniques and irrigation methods are employed in the plateau. The Malwa region has a rich history and cultural heritage. It was a significant political and cultural center during various periods of Indian history. Ujjain, an ancient city in the Malwa region, has historical and religious importance. It is known for the Kumbh Mela and various temples. The Malwa Plateau features diverse landscapes, including hills, valleys, and plains. The Vindhya Range and the Aravalli Range border parts of the plateau. Lakes and reservoirs in the region add to its scenic beauty. For example, the upper lake in Bhopal is one such prominent water body. The Malwa region has its own distinctive cuisine, with a variety of traditional dishes that reflect the local culture and taste preferences. 1. Deccan Plateau The Deccan Plateau is a large, elevated region in southern India, covering a substantial portion of the Indian subcontinent. It is characterized by its flat, high terrain and is one of the major geographic features of the Indian Peninsula. The Deccan Plateau spans across a significant portion of southern India, covering parts of the states of Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. It is bounded by the Western Ghats on the west and the Eastern Ghats on the east. The plateau has an average elevation ranging from 300 to 600 meters above sea level, although some parts may have higher elevations. The terrain is generally flat, with some hills and mountain ranges, including the Satpura, Vindhya, and Balaghat ranges. Several major rivers have their origins in the Deccan Plateau. The Godavari, Krishna, Tungabhadra, and Kaveri are prominent rivers that flow through the region, providing vital water resources for agriculture and other activities. The Deccan Plateau has a rich historical and cultural heritage. It has been home to various ancient kingdoms, including the Satavahanas, Chalukyas, Rashtrakutas, and the Vijayanagara Empire. Several historical sites and monuments, such as the Ajanta and Ellora Caves, reflect the cultural diversity of the region.